what's up so i posted this eyeshadow look on my instagram the other day and i actually got a lot of comments and dms from people asking when i'm able to do a tutorial on this look so i figured today i'd settle down and give the people what they want so here is my first tutorial and if you want to see how i got to this look keep on watching so i'm starting out with my brows and my eyeshadow base already on and i'm going to be going in with this purple color wasted from my Be Perfect XL Carnival Pro palette and I'm going to start by blending that out in a winged shape along the outer corners of my eyes. I'm just slowly and lightly blending that into my crease. clean fluffy brush and I'm going to go through and diffuse my edges just so it's not as harsh. So next I'm going to be going in with Freckless. It's a deep maroony purpley kind of shade and I'm just going to be using that to layer over the same top of the shape that we already have going just to give it a little bit more depth. Now I'm going to be going in with Lights Out. It's the black shade in the palette and I'm going to use that just to really darken up the outer wing of the eye. It's going to look really hard for a second, but trust me, it will blend out and make a lot more sense in a second. So now I'm going to go in and cut my crease and I'm going to be going in with my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fairborn. cut my full crease so when I get to the edges here I'm just going to very lightly tap it so it's just not as much concealer so it's just a little bit lighter of a line it's going to make it a lot easier to blend my black shade back into it in a few minutes. So I'm going to start off by just blending that black shade back around into my edges. So I'm going to be going in with Orchid in the same palette and it's just this really stunning iridescent purple kind of shade and I'm going to start by packing that onto my lid with my finger first just to get as much of the pigment as I can before going in with a lighter shade and a brush. So lastly, I'm going to be going in with the shade Fair Play. It's a really nice, pretty white highlight that came in the palette. And I'm going to go ahead again with my finger and just tap a little bit of that over Orchid to make it pop a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly do my other eye before moving on to my next step, which will be lashes. I'm going to be using my Clinique High Impact Mascara. So for lashes, I'm going to be going with my You'll Work Lashes in the style Osun. Those look something like this. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara along my natural lashes to blend them into my fake lashes. So now that the eyes are done, I'm going to move into face makeup. And I actually go in with two primers. I'm going to start off with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. Just because I do have pretty combination skin, I get really dry around the edges of my face and then I get very oily throughout my T-zone. So I'm going to start off with that and then I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish just throughout my T-zone to help control my oil and to give me a more smooth and even base. Dewy Foundation in the shade Soft Beige. And I'm going to take my damp beauty sponge and I'm just going to buff that all in. And honestly, the first couple times I used this foundation, I really did not like it. I felt like it didn't really cover as much as I needed to, and I felt like it just did not give me that even finish that I wanted to, but I've recently come back to it, and I've just been loving it a lot more than I ever did, honestly turned into my daily foundation, just giving me a really nice even base. It really does give you that like soft and like airbrushed dewy finish like it says it will, which is really hard to find especially for such an inexpensive foundation. Now I am going to go back in with my e.l.f. camo concealer just to conceal my under eyes and highlight the high points of my face.
then I'm gonna start by blending out the high points in my face first. I'm gonna let the concealer sit under my under eyes for another minute or two just so I can get the maximum coverage out of it. And then I'm gonna go about setting that with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Now that that's baking, I'm gonna go with a fluffy brush and just set the rest of my face. So this is the final look. I'll do some close-ups here in a second. If you want to see more from me, let me know in the comments down below what you want to see and make sure to subscribe.